The FEMA registration deadline is quickly approaching for those affected by the July 26 flooding. The deadline to apply is September 28th for renters and homeowners seeking assistance. FEMA is there for the underinsured and uninsured. So if you do have insurance, we recommend that you first file a claim with your insurance and then after you register with FEMA. FEMA can't duplicate the same amount as your insurance, but they may be able to help cover the cost your insurance doesn't cover. So there could be an opportunity that FEMA may be able to help fund and financially help you with your recovery if something on your end, if your insurance doesn't cover certain amounts. At Pifel Medical Center, our vision of creating a heart and vascular institute that will rival any other in Kentucky is a reality. We've assembled a top team of more than 30 multidisciplinary providers. Together, those highly experienced providers perform many of the most advanced cardiac procedures available anywhere. We have armed them with cutting edge technology and resources needed to provide comprehensive heart care close to home. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. If you have applied for assistance but received less than $200, FEMA encourages you to seek out a contractor for an estimate and file an appeal. If um, you reported damage to FEMA and received a grant for less than $200, you may have received this money just to pay for a contractor's estimate of the cost um, that's, that it's going to take to repair the damage. It's a small grant that is not for the repair themselves. It's just they get that contractor's estimate. So if you do receive this grant for less than $200, I recommend that you call FEMA's helpline 800-621-3362, and they can help assist you what next steps that you should take. Um, after you receive this contractor's estimate, you should file an appeal right away. All appeals must be filed within 60 days after receiving the initial letter from FEMA. To register for assistance or to file an appeal, visit a disaster recovery center or go to FEMA.gov. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.